Five. I haven't had started yet. I'm just getting my voice ready. Did that make you nervous? No, it didn't make me nervous. What? You didn't know what was going on? No, I didn't know if that was... Is that something you do every time? No, no, no. I just wanted to do it now. Oh. But can you not... Can you not... Honestly... <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. A little aggressive? A little aggressive, number one. Number, uh, number two, um, I haven't even started yet. Uh, but you that was you starting, no? No, 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 because he does the countdown. I'm just getting my, I'm doing vocal exercises. I've never known you to do vocal exercises. This is the first. I'm trying new things, uh, you know? So th when I do this, you do the countdown, uh, and then we'll start, okay? Because the uh, last time I was here, you started. You don't say your name. Uh, what? <laughs> You don't say your name until I introduce you. No, okay. You don't say a word. She can say. You don't say nothing. I mean. Yeah, it's weird. You say you don't say your name. Oh, you don't say it. What she can just say, Esther. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're I right. am Esther. I am, <laughs> I am here today. Yeah, yeah. All right. You guys, my body is broken right now. Yeah. From. We'll talk about it. I did yoga. Oh, uh, anyway. Talk about it. We'll I can't have, even yeah. fucking do it. Right a strong one. She's a strong one. But don't until I do this and then do this. <laughs> you do the countdown, but I need to do vocal exercises. Okay, I guess things have changed since my last appearance. Don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That part hasn't changed. That has not changed. <laughs> if you open your mouth again, <laughs> all right, I will sew it shut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, I, I when I do th when I do this and this, no, I, mean, you no, wanted me to I thought that was for, for her. her. No, no, I when I say her name, yeah, she starts. How do I know what I count down? When I do this <laughs> and I do that, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you recording? Yeah, we are been recording right. this whole time. We may keep this. This is an eighty minute no intro. Idea. It's fine. Yeah. We have no idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 of Tiger Belly. I'm your captain, your guru, your myth god, <laughs> your angel eye, your toe friend, your mind lover. Here I am, your captain. In flesh, in blood, I have walked down from the temple of Uzu, Uzu. to welcome all of you to my podcast. I am Guru Bobby Lee. <laughs> welcome. I have my sheep lady <laughs> right kalila kuhn she i released her from the cage and she may come out mm. and we have hey, hang on i have a question yeah. am i a herder am i or just sheep you're an actual sheep in this scenario <laughs> bah, you're a sheep bah. i am guru but we also have the white nothing <laughs> the white nothing george kimmel nothing he is nothing nothing you may see him there, but he may not be there as well <laughs> because he has no substitutes. Nothing. We have the flat one. The flat one is here. The two dimensional face. The barnacle. Barnacle. Hello. You, <laughs> yes, that's the voice. Hello. <laughs> I'm the flat one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you are. Now I'm going back. To, now I'm going to back. I'm going to go back to the character, Bobby Lee. Hi. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. And we have a beautiful guest. I'm, I'm going to say this. I haven't seen a lot of people. Why are you so concerned? Don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but why? You have this. 
Why are you spraying out COVID? I know, there was a lot of spray. Why are you I spraying saw- out COVID or <laughs> George all over my fucking George studio? Uh, 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 I got you. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Still fucking spread the COVID. I'll wear my mask. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. All right, ready and okay. So we have um. <laughs> 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 Um, you know, I haven't seen a lot of people during the quarantine. I've seen um, the red one, the rage, the red rage, the, red rage. Um, yeah. the hatred of the bottom, Andrew Santano. <laughs> and I've seen him a bunch of times, which is regretfully so. I've seen. Um, who else have I seen? That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's all I've seen. I have not even seen my brother in the flesh. Well, that's a choice. No, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> um, it is a choice. It's a choice and a lifestyle. Um, but the other day, uh, we we got these fancy fancy mochi balls mm-hmm. mm. from, uh, from what's the company called? Rice Blossoms. You uh, folks, this is not one of our um, you know our sponsors, but Rice Blossoms. Did you eat some? Oh, don't say anything. Yet. <laughs> but did you eat some? No. Well, how good were they? Yeah, <laughs> very they good. Were very good. Spots. <laughs> So we got these um, mochi balls with these strawberry. Oh. <coughs> That's not part of the ad for no, the rice balls. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You okay? Yeah. Fine. I burped. I know. I thought maybe you were having no, some no. other issues. Mochi. No, no, came I had out. A, bur- a mochi. I was th- talking, thinking about mochi. Made you burp. And my mouth got all saliva. Like I don't think that was a burp. That was like a whole potato coming yeah, out. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. Potato came out as well. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> everyone, everything, everyone, everything's fine. Well, let's get let's get under control here. So I so we had these mochi balls and we then one day I was just relaxing and Kalila was like. We gotta deliver some of these mochi balls to people. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And Esther seemed like somebody who likes mochi. Like I, it was just a wild guess. Yeah. But of oh. all the people in my Rolodex, I was like, I think Esther likes mochi. Mm-hmm. She's so cute like that. So the first stop we went to is um, Sasha Gray's house. Yeah, she likes mochi. She likes too. mochi. She probably won't eat them though. She ate all of them. Mm. She sent me pics. <laughs> and then she did. Mm-hmm. I love her. And um, we went to little Esther's house. And um, with King Dave, he's another king. He has another kingdom over there. King Dave is uh, Dave King is his name, but I call him King Dave King. A- and he <laughs> king is Dave King. King Dave King. King Dave King, and he is what an illustrious, poetic, genius of a man. His body is just other world, otherworldly. His body is like it's melting. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, imagine he was a stick of butter, and you stuck it out. You know what I mean? I'm imagining his face on a so- hot, like a, ho- a Hawaiian beach, it's just hot. Yeah. Right. You stuck out a stick of butter. Yeah. On a beach for about five hours. <laughs> That's what his body looked like. So a puddle. It's a puddle of something. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh God. Great optics. Flexiglass. So then um, <laughs> we brought, well, and then I, you know, when we we're driving to Little Esther's house and King Dave King, I um, was like, I'd like to see them. And so we went into their backyard and we had a little um, powwow, as they say. Mm. We had a little fellowship. And I really enjoyed it. It was good to see you. Um, and she has a new special coming out Friday. I don't know what it's called, <laughs> I don't know where it's at. Hot for my name. Hot for my name. And what network? Comedy Central. Comedy Central. I thought they were. Are they still alive? They're <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So she, all right. So she has "Hot for My Name," Comedy Central. That doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> and um, she's a very good friend of ours. And she's very talented. And I've always loved her. Little Esther, give her a round of applause, everybody! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. You can talk now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> it's kind of fun being on a podcast and not talking. Yeah, it isn't nice <laughs> for once. <laughs> Is it a nice one for once? Um, I had so much fun when you guys came over too. Oh I God. feel so disgustingly close to you guys. Me and Dave both do. <laughs> what do you mean? I just feel like we're so close, even though we don't see each other a lot. I feel like you're a rare couple that we both truly love and feel connected to yeah yeah and we feel the same way as yourselves mm-hmm. as well Thank you know you. I f- which is we why feel you were the second recipient emoji yeah, i can't yeah, believe yeah. that 
that was it was so it was so good yeah you're an odd human you <laughs> you have reverse progeria or something like, what's that well progeria is when you're young and you look really old you know that you know that disease <laughs> where you look young no 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 you're young but you look old you're young you're like you know the, so they're the like eight you're years old but they look like they're 90 benjamin buddy you have the reverse where you 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 don't really age i i do i mean up close i look i look like a teenager with wrinkles it's not like mm. but thank you for that comp- i mean wa- kalila has it too though Mm-mm. kalila has like those chunky cheeks I have big cheeks chunky yeah. baby cheeks but yeah. eventually the cheeks- kalila's only 21 years old you know that, <laughs> right <laughs> they met seven years yeah, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> wait kidding. eventually what Eventually, <laughs> the big cheeks slide down. Stop. So, yeah. So, mm. <laughs> in my case, what you'll end up getting are deep nasal labial folds because mm. the cheeks will just. What do we do? Um, eat avocado. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, or, or you can. You or get, just sleep upside down. <laughs> like an orangutan. Or you get cosmetic cosmetics, right? Like the Kardashians do. Cosmetics. No, yeah, but like makeup. Oh no! I mean, like uh, cosmetic sur- surgeries. Yeah, but those don't look good because you can always tell when a woman has like cheek fillers. They just look like a, a, a portion of their face is seen from all angles. Mm. It doesn't look right. I'm not. I'm yeah, not. I would only do it if Kalila did it to me. <laughs> no, or you guys should go to Korea. They're like state of the art over there. They are. We they should can make a 90 year old lady look too. I mean, they're amazing. <laughs> Yeah, and they don't hesitate to like shave down jawlines. Oh, I need extra jawline. So, but you could then you would just put. That's not shaving down anything. Uh, right? That's a. You, you don't. You know. You they don't. You want to add jaws to your face? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I like it, this shape of your face. Thank you. I never really noticed it before, but it's a almost a perfect circle. Thank you. Yeah, like like a moon. <laughs> Does that feel good? Thank you so much. <laughs> don't say thank you. You could disagree with me. No, I hear that all literally oh, all the time. You do? Yeah. Esther, I saw your uh, a quick interview like a while back of you on Larry King. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, I couldn't stop laughing just because I know you so well. And I know like you were, it seemed like you were practicing restraint. Yeah. Um, what, what was he? Because I, I was asked to do that interview as well. You like, didn't Larry do King. No, I didn't do it. No, 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 I don't. You didn't do it. You didn't. End no, I know. It. But they, they reached out to me and I go. I, I don't know. I would feel too uncomfortable doing it, I think. It was weird. Well, the we, I'm, one, I'm curious what part you thought was weird because I'm the part I'm thinking of is when he went off script and asked me if I have a boyfriend. Okay, yeah, that's what I found oh a little bit strange. God. I'm like, can you not ask her anything? Because Esther looks so young and pure. Yeah. And I think just by virtue of the way you look, I, it just, I didn't like <laughs> the line of question. <laughs> it was weird, but I do feel like I, like... He's, he just, I felt like I understood, like we both like Sammy Davis Jr. So I guess like <laughs> we, were, we were kind of vibing, but it was weird when he asked if you have a boyfriend because you know the questions ahead of time. Yeah. And that asking if I had a boyfriend was not on the list. Yeah, I was like, <gasps> he went off script for me. He's the improviser. Yeah, white dudes like that have a high libido, huh? Who? What? Larry, Larry King? King? Yeah, like him and like, what was the Playboy guy? Um, oh, Hugh, Hugh Hefner. Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Like, you know, when they were 80 and stuff, yeah, they were kids. they were staring at their like E.T. dicks. Right? I don't know what they do, though. Like, I feel like I remember hearing from one of the playmates who told her story that like they would just kind of all sit in the bed and like kiss each other. I don't think sex happened, but I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Like a slumber party. Yeah. But didn't wow. he actually produce Spawn? When in his seventies, me, which one, Larry King? Oh, m- probably. I don't know. Yeah. Imagine yeah. if there was no fucking Viagra. Yeah. And he still had to have sex. He would have to take jam his. Oh, m- stop. <laughs> his smooshies. <laughs> yeah, he would smoosh word, it against the wall of the vagina. The word jam. Yeah, he would <laughs> not jam. Um, I would do it a little differently if I was him and I, I was seventy and I knew that I could still ejaculate. Yeah. I would put it on a petri dish and then get a turkey baster and then <laughs> turkey baste no you know i would ru- I, mean? I would take my four fingers like this oh, no. and i would rub it like a clip <laughs> <laughs> right like and uh, uh, honey you know and, and she would be spread right i would look right it's what he does you ready now. you ready right right and i would then take this thing and spread the vaginal open and, and just try to eject you to just shoot it into it is that 
Do I am I perverted by even saying these it's this what tech you kind do of now, babe. I know that's exactly my style now, and I just feel like am I Larry King? I don't know, but <laughs> am I uh, Larry King? You know, it's so funny. I was thinking about this, Esther. Is is that? Um, oh no! When I remember driving up at the comedy store, and you were like, I think you were wearing a mask or something, but you were really worried about mm. uh, COVID. This is when we were texting every day, texting every day yes. about COVID, and even I was like, Esther. Don't not yet, not yeah. yet. What did I tell you? Yet. What did I tell you? You said nothing's gonna happen. You're fine. You're a fucking idiot for being scared. There's a billion people in China. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's not coming here. And then Whitney joined. Whit you and Whitney basically ganged up on me. I was like standing. Oh yeah, there. yeah. Whitney was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like standing you in the parking you. lot, like shivering of fear. And yeah. Whitney is like, "You think you're so special that you could get it? You guys." Oh right, 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 right. <laughs> you are both we, screaming. We, at me. we really made you feel bad. But it actually, weirdly enough, made me feel better because then I went home and didn't have so much fear about it. Because I'm like, mm. "Well, I trust them, and they're telling me not to be scared." You guys did end up being wrong. But you're not the only ones. My therapist. Told my my therapist told me she wanted to throw my hand sanitizer away. Mm. Oh lord! And I mean, I I ended up taking that last trip to Vancouver that I was scared of, but I don't know. Yeah, you guys, you guys were not scared. We were traveling. We were in Hawaii. Remember? Oh. And I and I texted you. I said, um, I'm gonna be the guinea pig. I'm gonna go without a mask. And I'm, but I still had like sanitized everything, like my seat, mm. and, and I was still really careful. Nothing happened to me, so I was like. Oh, I think I'm good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that you had it? Um, no, okay. I don't. I never felt ill. I had never got sick, not even from the flu or a cold. But you don't think there's a chance you like had it asymptomatic? Um, if I if we would have, it would have been from that travel because as soon as lockdown happened, we were we haven't seen anybody since. But, but I, I can tell you when it got real for me. What? Tom Hanks. Yeah. Remember when Tom Hanks? We were like, yeah. Tom Hanks! Holy fuck, Tom! We were, I was like, fucking Tom Hanks! <laughs> Forrest Gump, holy fuck, we're dead! That was like the best PR for COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that day that Tom Hanks announced it, that morning I was supposed to fly to Montreal. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I just told you guys this when you were over, but like I was supposed to fly to Montreal and I woke up and my the car service was there because I was going to work and... I just said like I, I can't go I called my agent I was like how bad is this if I cancel like this I know this is so unlike me and it's crazy and then I remember Dave woke up and he's like wow so you're fucking crazy you're still here but then by the end of the day that like so in the morning I looked absolutely crazy to everyone and by the end of the day Tom Hanks had it the NBA had <laughs> shut the season down oh wow and I was like oh, that if I was in Canada right now oh I would my be God. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's the second person that made a real reel for me DDK Daniel Dick. Daniel Dick Kim, because I had been to his house in Hawaii. Like two weeks before. Two weeks before in Super Bowl. <gasps> I went to his house. In, I'd never seen a Super Bowl. Yeah. I didn't even know what, what sport. I'm, I'm not kidding you. I didn't even know what the fuck sport it was. That's very scary. <laughs> At the time, they were like, Super Bowl. Uh, he called me. Hey, <laughs> Super Bowl? What'd you think? I go, is it a food? <laughs> is it a big bowl of food? <laughs> like organic superfood? Right, I went over and there was a football game. If you guys don't know, yeah, it's a football game and it's the last football game mm -hmm. of the season where and the two top <laughs> people do it. Right, on top of that, we shared a flight with him. Like yeah, right yeah. Before that's how I got to the fucking to Hawaii. The, no, I know the flight. I know that's how I got to the flight with the Hawaii, with the flight. Wait, what? but that's how I got to his house because we ran into each other at the airport. Yeah, and then he's like, "Hey." You know, maybe you can come over for the Super Bowl. And I went like, whatever. And then he called me. And then that's, I went over to his house. And then when he got it, I was just like, oh, this is real. Wow. Like anybody can get it, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, DDK recovered. He's a, have you seen his body? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> Ooh la la. How long do you think it would take for you to get to DDK body level? I think it's, I'm at the point of no return. Three months. No, not three months. I'm at the point of no return. I don't have also the structure he has. But Kamile did. What do you oh, yeah. yeah, but Kam Kamile is his body structure. I believe, I believe that God makes certain, you know, I've said this before, right? Prototypes. Like 20 body prototypes for men. 20 body prototypes for women. What you do Sounds with like that. You're describing Westworld. I, I hate, I am, I am. But what <laughs> you, you do with that prototype, right, is, you know, you could 
make it fucked up like by eating it it or treating you like shit but i believe that i have the same body prototype as your boyfriend dave <laughs> Hey guys, we're going to take a quick break to share one of our favorite sponsors. I love forhims.com. Very simple jingle. Forhims.com is all about men's wellness, guys. Need help with your hair loss, ED, or have a cold? Interested in mental health or a COVID 19 home test? Mm. Hims is here for you. You guys, if I had Hims growing up, man, it would have made my life so much different. Yeah, I had hair problems, I had penile problems, and, uh, this is a great website. Tell them more, baby. 66% of men start to lose their hair by the age of 35. Ooh. Thanks to science, hair loss can be optional. Hims connects you to FDA-approved products to treat hair loss, and they have thousands of happy customers loving their results. Um, if approved, products will be shipped directly to your door in discreet packaging. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with the results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund and right now our listeners can get their first visit absolutely free go to forhims.com wow. slash belly for free guys that's forhims what a deal dot com slash belly full refund of price paid available first 90 days supply refund requests must be made between 90 and 180 days after product shipment delivered prescription products require an online consultation with a medical professional who will determine a prescription is appropriate restrictions apply see website for full details and important safety information <laughs> Ship Station. <laughs> Ship Station is a service that we here at Tiger Belly we use. As folks adapt to this changing world, guys, we're all going to be buying more stuff online than ever before. Is that not true? Mm -hmm. If you're an e-commerce seller or you're ready to meet the demands of our new delivery culture, be ready with ShipStation. Why ShipStation? When you're selling online, getting a lot of orders out can be tough. How do you keep track of who gets what? Which shipping carrier should you use? Are you getting the best rates? You That's why you need ShipStation.com. Mm. It's the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Just a few clicks, and you'll be managing your orders, printing out labels, and getting your product to happy customers. ShipStation makes it easy. No matter where you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, or your own website, ShipStation brings you all of your orders into one simple interface, uh, making them really easy to manage from any advice, even your cell phone. Tell us more about it, Gil. Guys, and right now, Tiger Belly listeners can get ShipStation free for 60 days and use the offer code belly make sure your business is ready to meet the demands of delivery culture get started at shipstation.com today click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in belly that's shipstation.com then enter the code belly shipstation.com make ship happen enjoy the rest of the show him and i you know you know his is more melting <laughs> you know <laughs> so are you so are you trying to say you're mid melt or? dave is a, he, a funny guy he's a comedian He's, a he's great not writer. a comedian. I know, but he's an actor. Don't say that. He's an actor. He's a writer. He's who act acts He likes to act. Yeah. Right. No, no. He's a comedy writer, is he not? He's a comedy writer who acts sometimes in the shows he writes on. Okay. <laughs> but I've talked to David before and he, enjo he enjoys it. Yeah, I guess. Right. I don't like that because I don't want to be with a performer. I almost feel like I got tricked. Like when I started, when I met him, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. He's a comedy writer. He doesn't mm. want to be on mm. camera. He doesn't want to be seen. He wants to hide from the world. Why do you, why do you want to, you want to, you think it's, it's competitive in that one? Not or? competitive, but I just like the idea of someone that just is, just thinks they're disgusting and doesn't want to be seen mm. by the world. I like, yeah. that's hot to me. Someone who just like stuffs their face with crab legs and. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But. Speaking of crab legs, Annie Letterman told me she likes crab legs. She told me that you told her that you got really fat, but you look the same. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's rumors in the industry that Bobby's getting... Wait, wait, wait. So Annie Letterman... I thought it was her. Someone said to me that they're like, oh, you saw Bobby? Was he fat? He said he's fat. Yeah, I texted with her and I said, I'm just getting really fat, but this is something a throwaway oh. thing that I say to everyone. <laughs> Like you yoga. can say whatever because you're not going to see them anyway. <laughs> and I don't post shit anyway. So I was just like, yeah, I, I look like fucking, you know, Ralphie Mae now. <laughs> but you are technically getting smaller because of yoga. Um, kind of. Well, you know how they say like 90% of weight loss is in the kitchen. Mm. So yeah. Really, if you don't change that part, like you don't change the outcome of your body shape. That's and true. So basically, <laughs> yesterday, so you're our, fat. Our, <laughs> our yoga instructor Kara yesterday 
repeatedly said, Bobby, stop calling yourself fat. Stop calling oh yourself God. fat. She's like, you know, if you're if you're happy in the weight that you're in, you feel strong in the weight that you're if in. You're happy in your weight, <laughs> clap your hands. <laughs> fat, fat. But then, if you're happy in your weight, clap your hands. Fat, fat. But then she was like, <laughs> but lay off the pizza. <laughs> that's what she that's said. What she said. Gold belly. Stop eating pizzas every day. Yeah, that's what she and said. And I took that as an offense. Is no. it a private yoga or a big group? It's private. She does both. Oh, you but should do. We you should, we should do. We've it. I think we've not even invited you before. And uh, well, it was an informal invite, but we we should do it. We don't want to crash yours. You're not crashing. It's just on Zoom. You could do it with us. Mm-hmm. Wow. And yesterday, I'm kind of say uh, number one. I've never had an other. I've never had. I don't know what other yoga teachers are like, but this I call her my master, and um, she, <laughs> she's my master, and she um. Her name is Kara out of Hawaii. Check her out. She um, she really worked me less yesterday. I, it was the hard. First of all, for you, the, for those of you, this is who I was before yoga. Yoga, <laughs> that's just a bunch of stretching. Mm, which is that's not a real exercise, you know. Oof. Like anyone that would do yoga, I'd be like, oh yeah, yeah. I also walk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's how the level of I thought that it was just like walking or lifting your arm, mm-hmm. right? Ooh, <laughs> yoga, hard, right? Just lifting your arms like you that, keep right? Doing this? Right? I don't know why I'm doing this. You've been doing that a lot. You're know. like air traffic. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't flown in so long. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why. When you're happy with your weight, clap your hands. Fat, fat. Wait, so, but what would you say about yoga now before you said. Oh, no. So I'm going to get into it. Oh. It is. Um, it is the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. I've been into a lot of tra- tragic situations in my life, a lot of physical exertion. You have? I've been beat up. Mm. Yeah, I've been, uh, you know, I used to have this trainer, you know, because Abby thought I, one time that I was going to be like an action star, a manager. <laughs> so she's like, I know this guy, you know, he's the best trainer in the world. This a tall, a muscular black guy. And he used to come to my house mm. and he used to fucking you're not done and I'm, I'm, I'm and I'm on the treadmill you're not done he would yell you're not done and I go I'm dying and then like if I would stop he would grab me and put me back on the treadmill you're not doing you know and it was so hard this is way worse you there's know, no way that's possible oh yeah dude there are, okay it, it, what, what I love about yoga is this it, she's like you'll be in a position right <laughs> what is that position like, you'll be on, on a you get you'll be on your leg like this one leg and you're lifting it up like this. I'm just getting making it up, yeah. right? And she's, I'm, I'm like, it burns, right? And then, well, because you haven't, you know, used certain muscles there before, right? Like, you know, some of us have built up that muscle, right? But because it burns, because you haven't used, and in my mind, I'm like, when would I ever be in this position? <laughs> How could I work on this? <laughs> I would have to be able to, Am I kicking a, if I was a soccer player like this, maybe this, right? Wow, that's really good, babe. Yeah. Right, so right. flexible. Good, yeah, very right? flexible. But when would you ever, that's why this is petrified. Because <laughs> I'm never in this position. So it's very difficult. You know, um, you, have you done yoga? I have. There's a, a YouTube yoga that I do, yoga with Cassandra, but hers is... Oh, oh. shocking. <laughs> hers is mostly stretching. So I like stretching yoga. I don't like working yoga. Can you please do yoga? You and Dave too. Yeah, that w- he would do it. Yeah. It'd be. I would just want to see him do it. Well, he doesn't want that. He's so he doesn't want to be seen. He can just be off of yeah. the screen. I feel like I'm at a position or a point with David that he should be able to allow me to see him. <laughs> Tell him that. I think we're at at that point. You know? I yeah. I, I'm definitely open to starting that conversation mm. he's really he that's like his worst fear though is people watching him try to exercise like he the thought of like a workout class is just <laughs> like the that's his worst fear i would Uh-oh. i and he could be doing it perfectly i don't know why but he because he, whenever i see david it makes me want to laugh yeah he's funny he's just a funny joyful you know yeah. bundle of joy and um i just know that if i saw him do yoga that <laughs> I would probably burst into laughter. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stop myself. So maybe not do it. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I don't want to hurt his feelings. How are you guys doing quarantining? Like, do you guys hate each other? Or do you love? Do you spend time together? I'm just curious from other couples. Like, what's the vibe? Um. I think that. <laughs> Why do you look at her like that? In the beginning of quarantine, it was a giant fight because he still wasn't convinced that he couldn't reconcile with the idea that he was now at home and had to stay home. Mm -hmm. So it was a big fight. And I found myself trying to bait him back home by saying, I'll order whatever you want from wherever you want, or I'll cook this, you know, 10 course meal. But then our therapist said, what did she say? She's like, you've, she's like, you guys have, she goes, Bobby, you, you guys have a problem if, what's making you stay is the pizza rather than her pleading. Mm. She's like, mm. that's a problem if if you care more about the pizza than her feelings. <laughs> that's and, definitely a problem. And so, <laughs> problem. That's a problem. <laughs> Possibly. And I realized that. And so, but it didn't even occur to me, Esther. I was like, oh. Yeah. Um, I just thought I wasn't buying enough fun, indulgent stuff for him. <laughs> But then, um, so in the beginning, it was contentious, like the first two, three weeks. What did he want to do? He... Um, there was nothing to do. Well, he just eats out every day of his life, you know? Yeah. And um, someone on the internet, which I took offense to, said that, oh, you must be a horrible cook if he doesn't want to be home and eat. And the truth of it is, he has an aversion to home cooked meals because when he was younger, um, dinner time was abuse time. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that was when a lot of like bad things happened with his parents. So he doesn't like being in a mm. at home dinner setting mm. that has since changed. I cook every day. We eat together as a family every day. And so there's um, improvement on that. But I only cooked. But I also took etiquette class. Like I went to my parents spent a lot of money and I had to do ballroom dancing classes. What? what? And etiquette classes. Yeah, yeah. I was in the, actually the Poway newspaper of me in a ballroom. <laughs> we have a clipping at my parents' house. Wow. But like, ballroom dancing. Like for a cotillion? And how to set the, cotillion. The, 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 the table and how to sit. I thought that was only real in cartoons. No, no, no. That was real. No, it was real. And how to do the thing. He was born in the 70s, though. Our so, parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that. Yeah. So, like, um, so I remember being at home, you know. And also, my dad would go into dr a drunken rage and throw plates. But then here I am with the napkin, right? <laughs> in a skirt. <laughs> and everything like this. And I would curtsy, sit there, and be proper while my dad takes a butter knife and tries to stab my aunt with it or whatever he might yeah. do, you know? So it was like a, it was a, it was just a horror fest. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you could, you could, even if you had like David Chang, say for instance, cook up the the best feast, he would just go to rather go to Paquito Moss, and say, "All right, well, I'd rather be here and eat here." And, and also, my mom, we wouldn't, we didn't like Korean food, my brother, brother and I. So my mom had to cook two dinners. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so that's what I do every day. Yeah, so she would have to cook two dinners. <laughs> but do. she but we would ask for like we want chicken pot pie. Mm. Right? And like my mom would make my dad this luxurious Korean dinner. And then we would come to the table and there'd be a bowl with a piece of toast on top, shredded chicken and rice. That ain't no chicken pot pie. <laughs> but you're supposed to when you're a kid eat what what's made. Yes. Well, yeah, I don't like that. Why is everyone born in the 70s? Like, they love chicken pot pie. <laughs> oh, my God. Esther, in fact, we're going to send you home with some pies because we have what? 80 chicken pot pies no, upstairs. No, I, want, I have chicken it, pot pie in here. There's so Why? many. I'll give you one. Why? There's a vegetarian so one. It's really good. Okay. No, you, you don't you eat chicken? Not really, no. Oh, uh, Does David chicken? He does. I'm going to send it. They're this small. They're okay. tiny. Yeah. He loves chicken I'm gonna pot tell pie. Him, I'm going to I'm going to. Does he like mushroom? He loves mushrooms. All right, so I'm going to give you a chicken pot pie, right? And I'm going to tell you how to cook it. Okay. He's going to fucking love it. Okay. Esther, so you, how do you cook? Do you not cook two meals a day because Dave eats meat and you don't? It's like every day is different. I feel like, though, when we do eat together, 
like we'll make we'll together we'll like boil a pot of pasta and he'll make himself a meat sauce and i'll make myself a veggie sauce and then it's like kind of fun like we were both making our own sauce but mm. we we've since started doing takeout again because mm. we're just like it's too exhausting yeah to what do you guys fight about we don't i feel like we're in a good groove where we just don't spend time together <laughs> well like we like see each other in the hallway and we go on walks we do walks every night but we're we're pretty separate which i have a couple couple friends that are separate too and some are like they they still do a lot together but i don't know i i don't feel bad about it i like it it's like we're together all the time at a certain point I'm just going to hate you because you're the person that's standing right there. Mm -hmm. oh. So yeah. it's going to, and like, I love him and he's the perfect guy f for me in every way. But I'm like, I don't want you, like I hide in my room. Yeah. Mm. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Do your little projects. Yeah. I yeah. Little projects. Huh. My little yeah. projects. Do we spend, we, we do yoga together. We do yoga together. We, we also watch alone. Together. Alone together. We watch certain things together. You watch alone together. My show. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. What? No, there's a sh I love Alone Together. Yeah, what a yeah. great show. I, I watched that by myself. Yeah, yeah that's what I've been what on it. You? I've been on your show. Oh, yeah. You yeah, were yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> why were you so surprised they watched your show? I Because it didn't. <laughs> I just don't know what that meant. Yeah, yeah. We watched a show alone. There's a show called Alone and we watched it oh, together. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's a survival. It's, it's a survival show. But I did watch Alone Together. <laughs> yeah. Do you watch things? Do do you watch other things separately? Yes, oh, yeah. all we are mainly. What I watch Same. is so different from what he likes to watch. Mm -hmm. Same. Um, what do you watch? I watch. I honestly watch a lot of YouTube, or I'll watch like old movies. I'll I'll burn through like all the old Twilight Zones. Like I like mm -hmm. something a little old and creepy. And Dave watches like all those like really brilliant smart people documentaries and like every mm. show that comes out that smart people like. And I don't like that stuff. And so, yeah, and so that, that's actually the thing I feel the most guilty about is that we don't watch things together because I feel like we should be, but I just, we don't want to watch the same things. Why, why do we have to? Do you get the, um, sometimes I feel like there are things I absolutely have to watch alone in order yes. to um, fully, um, how do I say, um, absorb. Yeah. Like there are things where I'm like, I, I really can't have you watch this with me because I feel like he might taint the experience. <laughs> so... Like if it's anything like he hates anything lovey dovey. Like even if it's a really cool love story, he hates all of it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like love stories in like a traditional sense. Like oh, two people kissing, he's out. He's checked out. So mm -hmm. do you feel like if you're watching that with him, you'll be so aware of how he's feeling? You yeah. Won't be able to, yeah. Yeah. So like too. when when for instance when Jules and I will watch like Who? an old Juliana, my niece. Oh yes. Yeah. She's so, staying here. Yeah, she's staying oh, here. That's nice. Because love stories are not real. No, no, it's no. It's so fantasy-like. But we have to hide it. We pause it when he comes back upstairs and we won't watch it until he leaves the room. Mm. Because he because always, he'll, he'll, he'll do drive-by comments. watch that shit and they go, oh, that's what love is. <laughs> it's it's so romantic. <laughs> did, you right? did you hate Brokeback Mountain? I never saw it. Really? I, I couldn't see it. It was slow. It's not just that. I, I, I don't know why. I just, <laughs> what? I don't know why, but I just couldn't see it at the what? time. He hates cowboys. No, I, I, no, that's not it. I, I, there's some, I don't know, remember what it was, but I just didn't want to watch it. <laughs> You're afraid your dick would get hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's fuck you. Okay, let's watch it and then I hold your dick. All right. Okay, I'm oh, that's all right. We'll watch Go Back Mountain. Oh, you know what? I will watch it. And I look, I'll hover it over your dick. <laughs> and if I even feel a little tip. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then I'll right. know the truth. All right. So with Bro Back Mountain at the time <laughs> when that came out, I was really not doing well in life. Mm. And um, I didn't have access to it. I don't, you know, so I just went, I went, I'll pass on that, you know. But because I, I think at the time I had to go to a movie theater to watch it. I was going to buy it. I don't know why, but you know, um, I want to watch it because I don't have a problem with gay love on television or film. But you have a problem with straight love. That's the point I was getting at. Wait, is mm -hmm. Brobeck Mountain two guys that are straight? No, hooking up. Tech, well, they're ma married. Oh, you're you're, you're no. they are married. Yeah. You're talking about straight. No, what I don't like is when I was growing up. Right, little girls would be conditioned to believe yeah. that that's my knight in shining armor. 
Yeah, you mean? that's bullshit. Like yeah. my beautiful wedding. Yeah, day. and beautiful. But and, those aren't and the be- type of rom coms that I watch. I don't it, actually uh, it watch. It all rom-coms. feeds into that. What I like is, you know, tragedy. Yeah, I watch love tragedy. You know, like what? Like in Doctor Zhivago at the very end of the movie. You ever see Dr. Zhivago? No. Is he the doctor that kills people? No. That's Kevorkian. Oh. Kevorkian. <laughs> it's a different doctor. Yeah, different, I love uh, Dr. Kevorkian. That's his okay. HMO. Yeah. There was a movie called <laughs> Dr. Zhivago. It was, I think, made in the 60s. It was a just a sweeping, romantic, epic of a movie. But at the end of the movie, you know, he loses contact, I guess, with his lover, Dr. Zhivago does. And for 20 years... You know, he doesn't know where she is because it was a war that they were separated. And when he's like an 80 year old man, I guess he's on a bus and he sees his lover three seats in front of him. So he gets up and she gets off of the bus. He gets off the bus, too. And he's right behind her and he's trying to tap her on the shoulder like and he misses. He has a heart attack. He dies and she doesn't even notice. And just she goes around the corner. Oh, mm. God. that's love. <laughs> see, but see, here's here's my problem that's with his pure idea of love. love, right there. He finds mm-hmm. he gets these like sh- movies or shows that are not about love at all, mm-hmm. but he'll somehow justify it as love How? in a really complex way, so that when I have an issue in the relationship about oh, like we're not showing each other that much affection, he'll be like, well. <laughs> If you look at Doctor Zhivago, like he'll find like, I see or that, he'll I look see at like, now. you know, yeah, he'll yeah, be like, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you remember Saving Private Ryan, <laughs> and then he'll take, he'll twist it so yeah, that yeah. it matches what he wants to do in a love setting, uh-huh. which is not love. Like he doesn't want to show, um, um, you know, the usual type of love. He doesn't want to express it in a in, in a in a what he calls a common way right does that make you uncomfortable it's like something like that i'm like i i get what you i get it a little bit i i, I don't think you guys do i think um you like micho black like that kind of love no that's too rom commy for that's him. even too- oh, i love micho black that's like fantasy i that's what i'm talking about meet that i mean that's a little hollywood version of what i'm talking about yeah but i love micho black that's okay. what it is at the end they can't be with each other Yes. Oh, so that's mm, you know. He doesn't like happy ending. No, so like, is like house. Like, what are you saying that you're in love with someone else, and the fact that you're with Kalila? That's like <laughs> <laughs> he hopes that I die somewhere <laughs> along the way. No, and that he because it's not a re- it's not a reality. Heart stricken. It's not a reality. I it, you know, but you like the pain. I love. I, I think I I, I I I identify with that kind of pain. Romantic suffer. pain. Yes. Yeah. You that's know, yeah. I love um, long listening to sad music. Mm-hmm. I remember being a young man, listening to sad music, rolling down the blinders on my day off, right? Sitting in a room with, because back then you could smoke in your room. I would smoke cigarettes, drink coffee, listen to super depressing music and just ponder life. Sit there and smoke. Are you emo, Esther? Yeah, no, I, but that's emo. It's so weird that like then you say all that, but you're also a stand up comedian. Mm-hmm. Like you sit in sadness, but you are your job is laughter. It's so weird. It's like why are why are we all like that? Because um, at a point where I was sitting there, th- when you live like that, there comes to a point where you go, uh, oh, in this society, you know, you there's only two ways to do it. It's either stay in that, mm. right, and then wither away, or then you have to join. You know what I mean? Society and sign up for life, <laughs> right? Are you like? And so I'm you... like, I'll sign up for life, I guess, mm. Mm. because I can't, I couldn't bear my parents' disappointment. Yeah, I couldn't bear. Oh, I also I had like a lot of resentment toward high school f- friends mm. who all went to school and they were all become become senators and shit in my head, you know. <laughs> Are you, all gonna, you know. are you friends with your high school friends still? My best friend from elementary school, I'm still very close to. And then there's a couple, but I had like my college friends, but not really high school as much. What was high school like? Like, did you, like, what group did you fall under? I was, well, I did theater and I kind of bounced around. Mm. Like, I did the Palm Squad freshman year. I just, I, you know, I, I wasn't too specific in one direction, but I also, 
you know, I was kind of a homebody too. I never drank in high school and everyone else did. And I just was really against it because I didn't like that everyone did it and was so excited to do mm-hmm. it. So I was like, well, I don't want to. That was like how I stood out. Um, yeah. So you've never, have you ever had like a sip of alcohol? No. Ever? Wow. No. Marijuana? No. Wow. Jokes. Has Dave? Dave Dave drinks red wine pretty much every night and he'll do pot sometimes. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. That's un- it's it's so weird to find people like you. Yeah. It's not that uncommon anymore though because really? yeah, a lot of like my buddy Elliot, there are a, a lot of people that I know who genuinely don't even have an interest in it well also it's like there's the common factors for it right like for me there's alcoholism in my family like i have Mm. so many there's so many relatives that have passed away where when i was little i'd be like what happened to her and they'd be like she died in a plane crash and i was like (laughs) i was like wow so many of my family has been in plane crashes yeah but it's like now i know it's because they were alcoholics Uh. so there's that and there's like and my parents never drank, so I think I just wanted to be more like that part of the family as opposed to the extended drinkers. Yeah, yeah like Carlos Messi was like that too. I get high on life, bro. I don't. Do you know that. what I mean? You're like, oh, all right, <laughs> all relax. Right. We, got, bro. we got it. I mean, yeah. I Dane Cook was like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, Danny. You know, uh, I had another friend like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you guys. When you, cause okay. Let's say you're in different parts of the house and you just like really want a cup, a glass of water or like a left piece of leftover pizza or whatever. Like which one of you will ask the other one to do it and then or both. And how does the other one react? Because I'll ask Dave. I'll be like, can you put can you last night? I was like, can you bring me like some of the cookie dough? And he's always like, he'll do it. But he's always like, <sighs> that's him. But But he he never has to ask for nothing. No, no, I don't ever ask you for anything. Because everything is taken care of. I know, but I'm never, like, if I have, okay, okay, this is going to make me mad. mad. (laughs) So, um, I'm like Dave, I'm like Dave. So, uh, just, okay, all right. I have never gone, hmm, I want a glass of water. (laughs) Hey, Delilah, (laughs) give me a glass of water. No, I get my own fucking glass of water. But you always, last night... I need three things. <laughs> this is what she said it's in the like bed. A scavenger hunt. I need th- yeah, you know, three things. Is a scavenger, scavenger hunt. hunt. Right? It's, it's a no longer hunt. a favor. No, very, I, very. Good. Keep in mind that I'm already tucked in. It doesn't. In bed. I don't keep that in mind. I had done because it's not like a metallic <laughs> sheet that you're fucking. You know what I mean? You could hang on. I had also had I stopped moving all day yesterday. It doesn't. Just let me finish the story. I I clean everything. <laughs> Can I finish I my story? Everything. It doesn't matter. I need three things, <laughs> right? So at that point, you have to bring out a notebook. It's a quest. And a fucking pencil. <laughs> and go, what is it? Like what you're I now a secretary, for? right? And you're like, Gus needs to be unfilled. Okay, Gus. Gus is our um, Roomba. Oh. Because <laughs> first of all, I had, to, I had to empty out Gus three times. So this is the third time I had to empty out Gus. Yeah. Right? So Gus needs to be empty again. <laughs> I just fucking did it 10 minutes ago. Fucking cuz he eats too much. <laughs> right? Number two, I want some water. And she goes, she, not just water. It needs to be filled. Okay. That's another thing. When he gives me cups of water, <laughs> it's always half filled. I don't understand why he can't just so sit lazy. there for two specific, more seconds. Two more seconds. She wants specific amount. Eight right? ounces. A glass. Eight a ounces. Glass. No. Fuck it. All right. So I have to get it now a measuring cup. <laughs> I don't pull out the measuring cup. Measuring cup. Yeah, I have to get the measuring cup. Right? Or just fill it to the no, top. No, I get the measuring cup. You know what I do is when I need, I ask for water. Now Dave knows to ask which cup because I have to ask to be in a specific cup. Yeah. Keep I going. Know. I'm loving this. The third thing. Or is, he puts it in like a coffee mug and that's not eight ounces. No. <laughs> and if it's the glass that you need by your bedside, that's just not enough water. If yeah. that's not good enough for you, get your own fucking water. <laughs> and the third dead. thing is I need a halls, which is okay. But now I have to, okay, now, now this is what my, this is the vo- voyage. Yeah. The voyage. <laughs> I got to empty out. Guys, go to the trash can. Mm. Right? Then go to the thing. Get the fucking halls, right? <laughs> then get the measuring cups. Measuring cup, measuring cup, measuring cup. A ladle? That, yeah, that's four <laughs> cups. Okay. You bring it to her, right? And that's 20 minutes. <laughs> Interesting. And this 20. is always his face when he, he brings you what he needs. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, it's the best face. Uh, you know, I think about the face. He wants to punish you wh- with his. Yes. I think about the face when I'm bringing the shit to her. <laughs> what face am I gonna do? <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I love the face. But it's like, and I've never asked for anything. So Dave, has Dave ever asked you for anything? Hey, sweetie, can you go get me, you know, it's very wait, rare. You a never, fruit roll up. You never ask for anything? That, I just don't believe that. Oh my God, Esther, <laughs> I am a glorified bitch boy. I can go ahead. Whatever I asked for. Everything. Give me one, no, give can me you one. get the first thing? You cried every day when I didn't want to buy an extra <laughs> freezer <laughs> for all your fucking every, pizzas and pies. I cried every, every day. day. He was like, no, no, where's no. my fucking freezer? And then you know what he did yesterday? <laughs> Debbie, what did you say yesterday? What, what, what? She was like, you said this. How many times do I have to ask you to buy me my, my what do you call your habanero sauce? I did say that yesterday. How many times do I have to ask you to buy me you know the habanero sauce? And you know what I did while I was asking? She she was wearing bare feet. She had bare feet. And I had I was cleaning. I was doing Clean, laundry. Yeah, and, bare feet. And, he, and I had my bare foot. I stamped not, yeah, on her. Stomped. I stomped on her foot. And I, I, I she was in the closet. And, and, he, and I stomped on her foot. I put my hand here so she couldn't escape. And I go... How many times do I have to ask you to get me my fucking habanero sauce? Jeez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kumaro Usman. Yeah. So yeah. he doesn't ask. He demands. Be but here's the deal. And he threatens. It's, it sounds so superficial, right? <laughs> oh, it sounds so... It, but no, listen, okay? I've been asking for that habanero sauce <laughs> for a fucking month. And every time I said, what's the name? No, so I, I, no can buy I swear, it. be honest. Yeah. You knew the name the first time. I did know. The I name did the look first it up, time. and I did tell but you. But I said, "Do not throw the jar, right?" And of all the things that you don't throw around the house, for miraculously it's you throw Rojo one thing. It's called Rojo Habanero Company or something like that. But I'm just curious. Like, look, I'm just curious. Go ahead. Is there ever a world where you could yourself <laughs> order the freezer or the sauce? You know, that's an interesting question. <laughs> Let's and break I, it down. And I'm going to break that question down. <laughs> Yes. Is there a word? Before he breaks it down, I, Esther, I will say it's not that he doesn't try. It's just that it always ends up in the wrong address oh because he doesn't know his own address. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on. Hey, guys, we're taking a quick break to share this really cool sponsor with you. Yum, yum. Hello, fresh. Inside your body is freshness fresh. good. <laughs> yum, yum. Yum, yum. Hello, Hello fresh. fresh. Inside your body is freshness good. Hello Fresh, man. We had Hello Fresh the other night, did we not, babe? Yes, we sure it did. It was so fucking good. Yeah. Hello Fresh offers so many recipes, guys, to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. Uh -huh. There's something for everyone, including low calorie, vegetarian, <laughs> and family friendly recipes every week. Hello Fresh offers fresh, high quality ingredients every week for a super flavorful experience. Hello Fresh offers contactless. Delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking with a family. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick recipe options. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients wow. means there's less prep for you and less food waste. The packaging HelloFresh uses to ship to your door is almost entirely made from recyclable That's and or already recycled That's content. That's really important. If you guys want America's number one meal kit, go to HelloFresh.com slash Belly80 and use the code Belly80 to get a total of uh, not $5, but $80. Oh, my oh, God. Including free shipping on your first Holy box. moly. Additional restrictions apply. Please visit HelloFresh.com for more details. Once again, that's go to HelloFresh.com slash Belly80 and use the code Belly80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box. Enjoy the rest of the show. There was one day where I'm like, I don't know how to join clubs online. I don't know how to listen. I don't know how to participate in the online world because I'm old. So one day I went like, OK, what is um, prime time? What's it called? Amazon prime time. Amazon, okay, Amazon right, prime so time. I'm going to get Amazon prime time. I go, I do it. And it's like, no, you can't do it through this app. You have to go to this other app. Sign up for that. You have to go online. I go to the other line. No, you have to do this other uh, uh, Amazon Horizon and then you know, <laughs> fill out, give all the information. And I would do that for three hours. You remember, right? And also anything that I order, I have fucking two skate shirts, you know, Caballero um, bone skate shirt that I ordered four months ago. There's someone. It's not even here. There's someone in this neighborhood who has $3,000 worth of toys, T-shirts and groceries. <laughs> yeah. So and I have a narrow sauce. I tried all of it. Just you don't not think that I've tried? I spent thousands of dollars. <laughs> they just don't arrive at the house. So I'm doing it wrong. Oh, my God. One time, Esther, there's this one time, and I'll never forget this for the rest of my life. 
And I'm so glad that my niece Juliana was there to witness this whole meltdown. But basically, he decided we were on our way to the post office because I had to mail stuff. And he threw a tantrum about what a bitch I was for not helping him out with his prime time because he couldn't sign up for Amazon Prime. And then the whole way down, he was just in a, a rage. Meltdown. And... And, and I told him, because I think, I don't know what it was. I was like, can we wait till we're done with the windy hills for me to set your account up? Because I get dizzy when I read my phone. And which put him into a deeper rage. Because she did it in spite. She could have done it then. No. And I was like, we'll wait till the bottom of the hill. Don't wait for the bottom of the hill. And then it. we'll park and I'll, I'll fix your prime time for you. <laughs> yeah. And so, remember so that? So I do remember that. And, and I apologize. You, Profici I apologize profusely, but what I'm saying to you is, is that <laughs> the reason why I ask now for a freezer and other things is because I am unable to do it. I don't yeah. have the capabilities or the abil uh, you know ability to l to order things. Do you sleep in a bassinet? <laughs> What's a bassinet? For babies. For babies. That's my dream. This is <laughs> like I just what are you, I you think. Say, are you calling me a baby? No. Why say? Why'd you say? Do I sleep in a bassinet? No. Let me explain. I think two things. One, <laughs> yeah. you have it. You have it so good because you have him completely dependent on you. Mm. He can't yes, even step into the real world without right. you. So right. you're like you own him, and yeah. you have it good because you have a full time caregiver. So when did you? Let me. Let, 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 let's talk about your special. So when did you? Um, film your special we shot it in october we did four shows and then we did i shot behind the scenes stuff with my parents over the summer and then some in the fall um and then it, yeah then. and so you shot the special for where'd you shoot it in chicago no we shot it at dynasty typewriter in la oh cool. it's like a very small cute theater cool yeah so you did a dynasty typewriter and then you filmed it for comedy central and now yeah. it comes out I thought Comedy Central was no longer a network, right? Well, that's kind of what, that's like the slang. That's like what people are saying out there on the streets. But <laughs> I, it's it's still a network. I think they're going through changes like Viacom in general is. Um, but it, YouTube TV just added Comedy Central. So it's there and it's going to stream for free like a little bit after and it's going to be on demand. So there's going to be ways to watch it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And yeah. There'll be plenty of ways to watch But like in terms of TV, you can't turn... You can turn the TV on and watch it. You can. You can. Friday, July 17th, yeah. Oh, wow. So Comedy Central is still around. Yeah. It's crazy that you didn't know that, but also <laughs> you don't know what Amazon Prime is, so... <laughs> <laughs> or the Super Bowl. You know, it's funny. Ah, oh, oh no. God. It's interesting to me. I'm in trouble. <laughs> that, that a guest would call the host in that way. But uh, number one... I know what Amazon Prime is. <laughs> I know what the fucking Super Bowl is. But I say those things, right? That's my character. I, I pretend I pretend that I don't know what certain things are, so I call it different things. Mm -hmm. People people know that. It's Jessica Simpson shadow play. It's called shadow play. Okay? My moon faced friend. I feign ignorance. I'm afraid of vomiting. Are you afraid of it too? Or do you just I, can you do I number one don't like smelling it. Ugh. Oh yes, vomit is your weak. He that's can smell my poo all day. I love vomit. poo. <laughs> poo is my thing. Poo. I love the texture. I love the the, the deepness of the smell. Umami. Do you yeah. have a sensitive gag reflex, Esther? Do you are you afraid of vomiting because you? Is it like a full body experience for yes. you, or do you do you cry after you vomit? It's just like it's a fear. Like if I felt like I was gonna vomit, I would just be so panicked and afraid of that like feeling of like. It's yeah. just scary because you're like no control and you just your body takes over. And that's just like frightening. And, and I don't like it that it's unprocessed, the food. Yeah, that's it's disgusting. When, you, when the poo, it's <laughs> processed. No, it's right. Yeah. It's just brown. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, when you see vomit, there's a variety of colors that are up here. Yeah. 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 There's things that some your vomit would be different from my vomit. Mm -hmm. In my vomit, I would have pepperoni. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And that would have probably a mochi ball or something. Right. <laughs> Your vomit would have corn for sure. For sure. Right? corn. <laughs> yeah. Coffee grinds, mm -hmm. you know, but I just don't like it. Um, your, when does your, your special comes out this Friday? Yeah. Friday, July 17th. Our friend Nick Goosen directed it. Oh, can we talk about big ass? He has big the ass. biggest ass. 
Really? Nick, Nick does? Goosen has a his legs. He's got he's thick. He's got thick a, bottom. Yeah. Yeah. His bottoms are just so thick and muscular. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he you know he works for Happy Madison. Yes, yeah, so Happy Madison produced it, which is wow. cool. Yeah, we love Adam Sandler and the gang. Of course, but Nick's a part of that. Shout out to Goosen. It comes out this Friday on Comedy Central. You can watch it on YouTube. No, and you other can't. stream. <laughs> YouTube TV. YouTube TV. Other streaming platform. Yeah. And um, I want everyone to watch it because I always you know what the first time I ever saw you I was like she's got I didn't. Even, I think I walked out of the room. I go, yeah, she's got, she's got it. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I remember you saying something like that to me. Yeah, yeah. And I always, I just did a podcast where I did stand up advice because, like, in to celebrate the special. And I think I've been saying this frequently this past week. But the, if you want the best stand up advice, it comes from Bobby Lee, and it's just, thank you. It's just get. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And it's like just get on stage, like, because you're so matter of fact, and I just trust you that if there was a secret, you'd tell me. Because you know that it's 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 all about just getting up there. Yeah. You can convince yourself of a bunch of fears like I don't want to bomb or I don't have the material. I don't know what to say. That's all just a defense mechanism in your brain. It's really the fear of just getting up there. Yeah. You know, you just have to force yourself to go up there. That's the biggest thing. And then once you get that over with, everything else is just easy peasy, you know? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, let's do an unhelpful advice. Hey, guys. Today's unhelpful advice is brought to you by the Tiger Belly Patreon. Hey, Slip Kingdom. Mm. The Patreon is better than ever with more diverse rewards and ever-expanding community of people like you. Ooh. You can check it out by signing up to patreon.com slash tigerbelly. If you're not a member, you might be missing out. You'll get access to exclusive vlogs, <gasps> audio podcasts, <gasps> live streams, and other behind-the-scenes content you can't find anywhere else. Whoa. This week, we will let you in with us to see my, Bobby, first time ever doing yoga. <laughs> Here are the big papayas from Patreon for the month of July. Jeffrey Jarvis of the Jarvis Clan. Mm. Welcome. Parvez Bashir from the Bashir Baking Company from Inglewood. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. We have Jamie J. Cortez from the Franchise Department of Financial Aid. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Moon Disco from the U.S. And we all know who he is. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in the moon? At a, or at a disco? At a disco? You'll love him. we got Rebecca Torres. She's just a regular person. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't been on the moon. Welcome. She hasn't been on the moon. Welcome, Rebecca Torres. We have Havis. 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 From Singapore. He's the only one by the name of Havis in Singapore. Mm -hmm. We have Melvin Flores. Wow. From F Flores R Us. They sell <laughs> other people like him. We have Bond flowers. Johnson. They flowers. They sell flowers. They found flowers. Sell flowers. They, don't they found flowers all over <laughs> the place. They also find flowers. We've got, <laughs> let me just continue. We have Bond Johnson. Mm. Bon Bon to you. Yep. We have Rachel Wilkins. She wrote a book called Hello, Chachi, Amigo, Goodbye. Love it. It was a great book. Mm -hmm. Two pages long. <laughs> we have Compliment Pig. I like Compliment Pig. I, I remember Compliment Pig. Compliment Pig. Ah, uh, Compliment yeah. Pig. Yeah. Yeah. What do you remember about Compliment Pig? <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> I mean, we just remember him. Shut the fuck up, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We remember We him. love Compliment Pig. You guys don't remember Compliment uh, we Pig? We love him, love I him. said. Gilby, oh my God. I cannot believe your, your, your memory banks. It sounds familiar now. Wow. Okay. Out of fear, mostly. Uh, we love. We don't like derogatory pig. Yeah, we, we like compliment like. Yeah. pig. We Racist. like compliment yeah, pig. Yeah, yeah. If you're curious or interested in seeing more, you can go to Patreon.com/slash/TigerBelly. Unhelpful advice with Barbie, Kalila, and Esther. Greetings. I am a married straight male, and recently I've started to have sex dreams about Bobby. The most recent one. Stop. <laughs> Start off over. I didn't because I didn't I didn't really understand what you were saying. Go ahead. Greetings. I am a married straight male, and recently I've started to have sex dreams. Okay, I, I did understand it. Continue. Oh my god. <laughs> the most recent one I had a dream that Bobby came to visit me. We were hanging out, and the next thing I knew, I was naked, lying on my belly, and Bobby was sitting on my butt. We were talking. Then his Toki the Dum Dum voice. He says, "Okay, who's ready for a BJ?" Then boom. Wet dream. Wait, hold on. Did it say Asian accent there? I added that for flavor. 
racist, babe. <laughs> Fucking racism right there, dude. Okay, fine. We were talking in his Toki the Dum Dum voice. He no, says, they, no, do it. Uh, okay, he's ready for a BJ. <laughs> yeah, no, do, is that yeah, do No, do it. I, I want you to go more Asian. I think maybe that's it. We were talking, then in his Toki the Dum Dum voice, he said, Okay, who's ready for a BJ? <laughs> yeah, then like, boom, yeah. wet dream, I woke up. Should I tell my wife that I'm having these dreams? And just to also give you a you scenario, if Dave really truly came to you, and was like, this is so weird. Uh, you were just on Tiger Belly. I was thinking about Bobby. He sat on my butt and I woke up in a wet dream. Dave says this to you. How do you like to have that what conversation? What would you say? Without freaking out. I, I don't know. What do you mean? I'm stumped. Bobby, play Dave. Well, okay, so I'm Dave. Hey, uh, um, hey Esther. <laughs> Good morning. Hey Dave. Yeah. Um, You're awake early. <laughs> I know. Well, I had poker night, and did I couldn't sleep because I won. Did you I, stay up all night? I did. I stayed up all night and won on the poker night, and I just wrote a script. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? Good. Is there a lead character named Esther? Yeah, fifth lead. <laughs> fifth lead. But anyway, um, honey, um, I had this weird dream where um, I don't know, I was just playing poker online, you know, mm -hmm. and I got a knock on the door. It was Bobby Lee and um. I know we were all of a sudden naked. I laid on my belly and um, Bobby sat on my ass. So our asses were touching. And then um, he said, um, Okay, <laughs> are you ready for the Toki the Dum Dums? Right? And um, are you ready for Papi Jail? And um, I don't know. We just started 69ing. Do you, okay. Do you, are you attracted to Bobby? No. In fact, Wait. I kind of hate the guy. Do you want to? <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah. Same. No, yeah, no, we've talked about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to fuck Bobby? No, I just, I don't know why I had the dream. Oh, okay. That's just a weird dream. Okay. It's, I've had the same dream six nights in a row, though. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you're being honest. You don't want to fuck Bobby. I don't want to fuck him. No, no. Okay. Yeah. I took his dick. <laughs> uh, 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 um, no, um. So I want to tell this guy. Yeah. Um, maybe you should stop. Maybe you should listen to other people's podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Maybe variety. Yeah, variety. There's other people like uh, Rogan. The Rogan Experience is a pretty yeah. good one. Uh, what? Well, uh, WTF is a good one. Yeah. Bill Burr has one. Burr, yeah. mm -hmm. um, or number two, you know, I I, I, I could see it. <laughs> you Robert De Niro face. Ew, you could uh, see okay. what. Hey, I, I, could, I, could, I could see, I could see it. it. Butt on butt, yeah. ass to ass. Wait, hang on. I don't think ass, sitting ass to ass is gay I think in more, any stretch of more the funny. imagination. It's funny. It's funny. Uh, oh, dude, you want to, we should do it now. I'll do it. <laughs> Maybe not during this environment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would definitely rather go ass to ass with another woman than a man. Me too. Oh, what is the God. reason for All that, Clyde? It's a hygiene thing. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I just don't so, think baby, you wouldn't, if I laid down here right now, the same way. Yeah, you, would, your butt, you wouldn't sit on my butt right no, now? No, don't do that scenario. Edgar Ramirez. Oh, I has would, to do a scene with you. Oh my god! So it's not about a man. I about would specific spread people. Spread my ass cheeks so wide, oh, just no. so like my anus could somehow get <laughs> some, some <laughs> of his skins on the inside. Mm, uncomfortable. Interesting. That's, not, that's not nice. How did you know Edgar Ramirez? Come on, he's gonna be the new Wolverine. But I know. But how did you know that was like my old time, old time? You've talked about him all time. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Edgar Ramirez. He's in the talks, possibly to be Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Young Wolverine for the new Marvel. Potential. Not, mm, it's not guaranteed. That. Wow. I just, yeah, I don't think men wipe as good. They really don't. Mm -mm. Look so, at George is not even defending himself. <laughs> like, yep, we don't. So you, what you seem, <laughs> getting longer and What longer. you're telling me is this, is if you went home right now and Dave goes, hey, how was the podcast? You went, it was pretty good. It's fun. And she, he goes, hey, can you eat my asshole right now? Oh my God, Bobby. Would you eat his asshole? No. I don't do that to men or anyone. If someone wants to do that to me, <laughs> because I've known, you know, yeah, that's yeah, people fine. have done that to you. I'm fine with that. Okay, do you do you when you're there? <laughs> wow. But I'm not. What are you, a fucking princess? <laughs> that's yeah. fucking princess talk. You eat the whole. <laughs> Okay. I'm a peasant Esther. I eat you the whole. Eat the Are whole. you serious? Yeah. yeah, I put goggles on and I just go for it because scuba um, gear. It's just um, I don't have respect for myself. I don't either, but I just can't. I just think men are. I don't know. Maybe I'm gay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what if he said, "Hey, I, 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 can you lick 
the no man's land. He's this is gonna make him so uncomfortable. The taint. Yeah. Wait, you can't the, do the chodies. The taint. Yeah. The, oh yeah, yeah. That's but see, I feel like that's a very safe-ish landing strip compared to the <laughs> asshole. No, <laughs> that's a, you I, usually I be, no because the no man's land, the taint, is um, it's the land of the unknown, because you have the asshole here, mm-hmm. and then you have the sacks here, yep. right? I, and those both fluids meet. <laughs> it's unknown. A, it's a desolate. It's a desolate place. I don't think it's appropriate to ask someone else to eat your ass. I think if you mm-hmm. volunteer it, yes, totally cool. That uh, is, you know what, you are absolutely, absolutely right. right. Yeah. But also, it's it's one of those things where it's like if you ask someone blatantly, you are some type of psychopath. I think I agree. Yeah. So I, me going, hey, do you want your asshole eaten right now? Totally cool. Yeah. Totally cool. Right. So you would never go to Dave. Hey, can I eat your asshole? I don't think so, no. <laughs> it would be so funny, though. <laughs> Try it tonight. Did, see what happens. It would be such a kind-hearted gesture <laughs> if you did. Because you know he would say no, right? That's sweet. Yeah. I just... Please, <laughs> he Esther. Doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, Maybe just, you never I asked wanna, him and he would say yes. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Esther's perfect little princess moon face should never moon see face. another yeah. man's <laughs> asshole. All right. All right. Another my bad. man's besides my own. My bad. Yeah, so you can see You can look at your own asshole all day, but no. You're not. I'm not allowed to have that image in my head of your perfect little moon face. Well, you gave me that image of you now. Oh yeah, because I'm, <laughs> I'm dog shit. <laughs> no, I am. Not. I am not. You're a per- my nurse. I no, <laughs> Esther. You know what? And nurses, what, what do they have to do? They have to right. digitally get in there. Nurses you know? do have to do a lot. Mm-hmm. Esther, you know you were um, somebody that we were gonna have, but I'm. Just, this is last minute. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks I also just me. generally feel safe. You're like family to us, so Same. it's like you know, um, we want you on this podcast as often as you can do it. Um, I really, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I deeply do have fun feelings for you same and you and dave i do i do you've helped me so much bobby i'm a good guy <laughs> one of the best you both helped me in very different um, ways <laughs> yeah but um i want everyone to please listen to and watch esther's special oh my god oh, he's so okay. it's another potato another potato and uh, i want everyone in the room right now <laughs> to give her a round of applause thank you so much for being here. thank you guys i love you guys What's up, Slup Kingdom? I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, thanks again to everyone over at Tiger Belly Patreon. If you're a member, you've already seen Bobby's first time doing yoga, which was interesting. Wait for the end. And if you want to join a community of people just like you or help support the show or access all the exclusive content, you can find more at patreon.com slash tigerbelly. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, him just giving you their best offer yet and all their hair loss and needs. Go to forums.com slash belly. To make ship happen, again, Tiger Belly listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use the offer code belly at shipstation.com today. If you've always wanted to try a meal kit delivery service, now is your chance to do it. We want you to get $80 off. Go to hellofresh.com slash belly80 and use the code belly80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first delicious box. We love you guys. Have a good night.